talking. Is it okay if I talk about Jesus this morning? <laughs> I want to talk about Jesus because he was actually accused of being a friend of sinners. What I find interesting about that is he's the holiest man who ever lived. And what's even more interesting is that according to uh, surveys and according to experiences I've had with questions and conversations with those far from God, they feel that Christians are holier than thou. So we have to really learn from Jesus. So what was it? I think you, if you look at uh, John 4, Jesus, like at the woman at the well, he took genuine interest in that woman. He literally asked her questions and she shared with him. And then he kind of prophesied and said things about her that, that like no one would know but her. And she was shocked by it. And then when she discovered it was Jesus, her second impression was, this is the perfect man, the Son of God, that I want to get to know. And she ran into town and told the people, come and meet a guy who will tell you everything about you, yet he will love you. And so the big takeaway is, how about if we'd like be like Jesus when it comes to witnessing? I mean, if you're if you have like a neighbor who's far from God or friends at work who are far from God, like are you ever surprised? Maybe, let me just put it this way: we should never be surprised when they do crazy things or really mean things. I mean, they're far from God, and so just enter that space, listen to them, be with them, and accept them. And as soon as you accept them the way God does, maybe there'll come a time when they will ask you about your faith and what makes you tick. And so our first impression should always be, hey, Dave Johnson is a friend of sinners. The people say that about you. But then we take it to the second impression. After you build that authentic relationship with them, ask God for an opportunity to share about the holiest, most perfect man who ever lived who can take away your sin, and that's Jesus. So that's the takeaway for today. And remember, we're not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. Jesus won the battle on the cross. Have a great day.